would like to validate yung ano no yung uh, information mo about the unpublished service because our own Magdalo survey which uh, concluded just last week um uh, ano um uh, validated that information cool uh, also uh, number one oh yeah. si, that's si it cool. and at yung ano we just uh, less than two weeks ng open war between the Dutetes and the Marcos talagang tinamaan yung mga Dutetes and yung sa ICC question namin yung ICC question nga namin is more uh, direct ano na ano ano ang inyong opinion sa nalalapit na pag-aresto kay Rodrigo Duterte ng ICC International Criminal Court niya ang ang choices sang ayon hindi sang ayon at walang opinion ang yung sang ayon nag increase siya from 13% to 18% tapos yung uh, ay yung uh, di sang ayon nag uh, bumaba siya from 33 to 31 no na narrowing gap in just less than 2 weeks and yung walang opinion ito kasi yung refuge eh. So the thing about uh, Filipino respondents, Filipino uh, voter is pa safe. Kailangan meron kang refuge para sa kanya kasi hindi niya baka samain siya dun sa totoong sentimiento niya. Oo. So that is the walang opinion. Kasi maliwanag naman kung kung talagang makaduterte ka at ayaw mong maaresto siya, isabihin mo yung di, di, di kasang ayon. It's there. The choice is there. Pero bakit walang opinion sinabi mo? Because you don't care at all about Mr. Duterte. At so pag susumahin mo yon yung 18% and 47%, that's 65% na uh, technically in favor of uh, uh, Duterte being arrested ha? Kasi yung question ng ay ng SWS uh, it's just is cooperation or investigation or cooperation. No? cooperation. Ito hindi. Arresto. Very interesting. So yeah. So, okay, so just to put it, so I think both of us have confirmed from the data we have now, unfortunately published or for some reason, is that Ulfa is now number one. So Sara is no longer a foregone conclusion. And the trajectory mm -hmm. is in not in favor of Sara. It's actually the other way around. Uh regardless of whether you like Tulfa or not. But the second and even more important is the fact that majority, 51% uh, uh, want ICC to investigate, 57% want BBM administration to cooperate, and then base sa sinab, sabi nyo, only around 30% are against arrest. Yes. So that means only third. majority, 6 out of 10, are open to the idea of an arrest warrant. I yes. Iba yun, na yes. hindi sinama sa SWS. Yeah. I, I really appreciate this intervention because... These are numbers. These are data. This is the reality. Hindi yung sa social media, hindi yung sinasabi ni Boljack TV, whatever. Yung mga, we're talking about systematic numbers that we have there, right? Yes. And, and, and probably they also know about it, no? The other side. I think, yeah. I think they, they're not, you know, they know this. Oh, and uh, no, no. Uh, we've been tracking, no? So, uh, the last survey we had, uh, we conducted last August. So, ngayon, um, January, so basically six months after, tinitignan namin. So, tumataas yung habang tumataas yung awareness about the ICC tumataas yung in favor tapos bumababa yung ano and the bulk nito is in Mindanao nung mga ayaw no but uh, Luzon Visayas basically ano na siya i pwede na siyang isuka no kumbaga sinusuka na siya or willing silang uh, ipa isuko si Duterte and uh, it won't uh, matter in their daily lives ganun um, uh -huh. Sir, does that also, uh, I mean, of course, I, I I don't know how religious you are, but I mean, does that also kind of restore your faith in the Filipino people? Because you think, you know, I mean, EJK, this is a horrible thing. I mean, you know, I mean, this was a human rights catastrophe. This is a, this is an affront to conscience of any, you know, true person of faith. I don't know, Christian or whatever religion. Mm -hmm. For me, this kind of proves that it was really a climate of fear, right? Now, a lot of this was disinformation, exaggeration, mm -hmm. performative, climate of fear. Now, na hindi, siya, hindi sila nakakatakot sa karamihan. No, nag-collapse. Med medyo lumalabas na yung mga totoong sentimento ng tao. Di ba? Parang ganun ang basa yeah. ko dito. Eh. Na-exaggerated yung mga superlative approval-approval. It's like approval of Putin in Russia. Do you think anyone in his right mind, pag tinawag mo sa, oh, sir, what is your opinion of Putin? Like, there's no reason you're gonna say, I mean, there's, yung mga nagsasabi no, sobrang tapang mga yan. Kasi, yeah, I mean, yeah. 
Same. Same with the, kunyari, sa North Korea. I can imagine 99.5% ang approval rating niya. Baka lang pa sa 100% pa. Oo. Oh, oh. So, ganun, ganun yun. Kaya nga, when when we do ano approval uh, rating, yung yung question is, ano ka ba? Ano to? Uh, lima yung choices namin. Kaya, so, kailangan mo magbigay ng ng refuge. Ng refuge sa kanila na kung gusto ko magtatago. Oo. Oh, dito ako magtatago but still kung ano ka uh, paborable ka sa kanya eh bakit hindi mo isinulat yon di ba but dito ka sa walang opinion kasi kumaga uh, you, you just ano ka uh, you want to play it safe or good natured ka but hindi kaya ng sikmura mong magbigay ng positive statement towards him so ganun yung i believe uh, there's something wrong with the questions also And um pero ito um kaya nga hindi na namin ano yan eh yung approval we believe wala sa ganong value no wala sa ganong value may value lang yan siguro yung performance feel good lang do sa mga nakaupo but still makita mo historically bakit yung chief justice ang pinakamababa it's not because they're very lax or ano? merit exactly oh hindi hindi lang nila alam what this guy is doing or what ano out of sight out of mind lang sila parang ganon. kaya itong ano itong nangyari na open war talagang tinamaan si si Duterte sa Luzon lalo na bumaba siya no uh, i still believe na kung tatakbo tong senador ay eh, mananalo yan and yun ang kailangan bantayan ng Marcos administration you're talking about Digong himself not not the son Digong yes no oh, because if he wins a senator um platform More, share. most likely magiging senate president yan yeah. if you will count the oh. oh if you will count the um, possible uh, voters for him in the senate aabot ng mga 14 15 yan so he will be senate president pag nag senate president yan he will hold this administration hostage grabe and no. ano yon uh, mabigat yon he can summon people through subpoena and he can even issue a warrant of arrest. So whip so, and whip and gagawin oh. din as whip to whip everyone yeah. right and left. Yeah. The daughter, that's daughter and, niya, Vice President. Eh. No. And kung hawak na lili ang Senado, ba, the, the group of GMA can make their move sa House kasi sigurado ma-impeach ito kasi uh, one or two votes away na lang yan for, from an impeachment. So I didn't think uh, ano hindi out of the woods ang Marcos administration. They will have to be vigilant all the way, no? And mm -hmm. in in a sense, Senator, you're saying the opposition should be also vigilant for 2025. Of course, eye on the ball 2028, support yeah. Risa as a candidate. But as early as 2025, if if Digon comes back, if 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 the plan works, yes, legally it doesn't give you an immunity from ICC, yeah. but politically it gives you so much power and platform. And as I said, that's where I'm a bit worried because I feel like si BBM, he hindi siya ganong ka hawkish eh, to deal with that very scary situation na yeah. dalawang house. And then there's a China element, which I think I want to discuss this in our last part very shortly. I hope we can catch up again soon, Senator. At least I feel. We, you can see we're very comfortable and I think people are loving our conversation even if they're just hearing your audio, Muna. There's a huge number of people are listening to us right now. Let's talk about this issue of national interest in China. Um, for a moment, especially yung mga naikinig sa atin ng Marcos, I mean, we can go through a long list of your dissatisfaction with BBM, okay? Gets ko yan. But this issue of West Philippine Sea is something very serious, right? Because in a way, in a way ang Pilipinas ay parang Berlin in the 1950s. Talaga gitna tayo ng dalawang higante. Obviously, China, U.S. is an ally and China is a threat. But the superpowers are all here. Ang alam ko, lahat ng intel assets ng isa nandito na, eh, di ba? Um, they're, they're trying to fight. And of course, they have their proxies. We don't even need to spell this out. So a lot is at stake here. A lot of big geopolitical events. And kaya nga, you go to U.S., tayo nag-abroad. Nakikita mo, they pay attention kung Pinoy ka ngayon. Kasi we are a very important country. But speaking of that, the Philippines is also going through some interesting changes in its national security doctrine. I mean, we announced, at, um, what, what is it, 9 trillion pesos, AFP Modernization Act, uh, getting submarines, etc. Navy at ang background, yo? Uh, Senator Trina. Yes, yes, Your dad yes, was yes. also Navy, right? Yes. So it makes you even more relevant because a lot of this is about submarines and warships, etc. First, what is your take on this US-China competition part and how much the opposition should be also vigilant? Na hindi ito dang 